Imagine this. You pull into a charger, grab a quick coffee, and minutes later, your EV is full? Sounds impossible? Not anymore. BYD's Blade Battery 2.0 is here. And it's not just one battery, but two. The long blade pushes range farther than ever, while the short blade unleashes charging speed so fast it feels like science fiction. If you've ever doubted whether EVS could truly rival gas cars, this changes everything. Stay tuned, because Blade 2.0 isn't just an upgrade, it's the future. What Blade Battery 2.0 means To understand why Blade Battery 2.0 matters, you first need to know where BYD started. The original Blade, launched in 2020, shocked the industry. It was safer, cheaper, and more durable than rival packs. Using lithium iron phosphate chemistry, it avoided the fire risks that haunted nickel-based cells. But it wasn't perfect. Energy density hovered around 165 watt-hours per kilogram at the cell level, and charging speeds were good, not great. Now comes version 2.0. BYD hasn't just made one new battery. They've split the future into two paths. The long blade is all about range. Higher energy density means fewer stops and more miles per charge. The short blade is a different beast. Its structure sacrifices range efficiency for raw charging speed, unleashing rates up to a staggering 1,000 kilowatts. That's fill up in minutes territory something never seen in a passenger EV. Together, these two Blade 2.0 options reveal BYD's strategy. Not a one-size-fits-all solution, but a family of batteries tuned for specific needs. Long trips, fast top-ups, drivers will choose. But here's the catch. BYD hasn't revealed when you'll actually see either of them in the cars outside China. That's where the mystery deepens. Leaks versus official confirmations. This is where things get messy. On paper, BYD has been tight-lipped. Officially, they've said almost nothing about which cars will carry Blade 2.0 or when. But leaks from Chinese automotive insiders tell a different story. Reports suggest at least seven models are lined up for the new batteries. The Han L and Tang L are frontrunners, and sharp-eyed enthusiasts already suspect these cars may be testing the short blade pack with its lightning-fast charging. The Yangwang U7, a luxury flagship priced north of $150,000, is also on the list, along with a high-end SUV, an MPV, and an as-yet unnamed crossover. But here's the crucial part. These are not mainstream cars. Don't expect the Dolphin, Seagull, or Seal to ship with Blade 2.0 this year. The leaks suggest China only, premium-focused rollouts first. Europe? Australia? North America? Nothing concrete, not yet. So why the silence? BYD is likely watching two things. How fast charging infrastructure builds out, and whether the new chemistry proves durable in real-world use. Until then, they're hedging their bets. In short, leaks say Blade 2.0 is here, but BYD says nothing. And if you're waiting for global markets, the truth may sting. 2025 won't be your year. The rollout is more selective and slower. Technical differences, short versus long, Here's where Blade 2.0 splits into two very different creatures. The long blade is the range king. Its energy density jumps from today's approximately 165 watt-hours per kilogram to somewhere between 190 and 200 watt-hours per kilogram, with some reports whispering about 210. That's a huge leap for lithium iron phosphate pushing BYD closer to the best from CATL and Goshen. More density means more range without enlarging the pack. But there's a compromise, charging speed. The long blade tops out around a 3C rate, 
roughly 250 kilowatts in practice. Solid for long trips, but not earth-shattering. Then comes the short blade. Physically smaller, about half the length, but designed to channel enormous current. We're talking an 8C charge rate, which in BYD's architecture equals up to 1,000 kilowatts peak charging. That's a number no passenger EV has touched. Discharge can hit 16 degrees Celsius, meaning wild acceleration potential. The trade-off? Energy density stays flat at around 165 watt-hours per kilogram, essentially the same as today's blade. You don't get more range, you just refill it insanely fast. This raises big questions. Will the short blade's cycle life suffer under that stress? How much extra cooling and structure is needed to keep it safe? No one outside BYD knows. What's clear is that each pack is tailored. Long blade for endurance, short blade for speed. It's a fascinating divergence. BYD isn't just upgrading. They're experimenting with two philosophies of EV use. Do you want fewer charging stops? Or do you want to plug in for five minutes and blast off again? The choice could redefine how we think about road trips, commutes, and even the future of fueling stations. Timeline and rollout. If you're hoping to buy a BYD with Blade 2.0 tomorrow, here's the reality. You'll be waiting. For now, all signs point to a China-first strategy. The Han L and Tang L appear to be early adopters, but those are high-end trims sold mainly in China. The Yangwang U7, MPV, and crossover? Also China-focused. What about global markets? Europe, Australia, Southeast Asia, and North America? Not this year. Multiple supply chain checks and leaks agree. No Blade 2.0 cars will leave China in 2025. At best, wider rollout could begin in 2026, once BYD sees how these packs perform under mass use. There's also the infrastructure question. The short blade's 1,000 kilowatt charge rate sounds dazzling, but how many chargers exist today that can actually deliver that? Even in China, where rollout is fastest, high power stations are rare. Expect only a handful of pilot sites at first. That means, ironically, you might buy a car with the world's fastest charging battery and never actually use its full speed. The long blade, on the other hand, doesn't need exotic chargers. 250 kilowatt stations are increasingly common, and that plays right into its endurance-focused design. That may explain why BYD could prioritize the long blade for international expansion so, the timeline? 2025, premium China-only models. 2026, possible trickle into exports. Global mass market cars like Dolphin or Seal? Likely later. Until then, BYD fans outside China will have to wait. And watch. Because here's the twist. Blade 2.0 isn't just a battery upgrade. It's a statement of intent and BYD will roll it out carefully, controlling supply, pricing, and expectations, long before the rest of the world gets a taste. Impact for buyers. So what does all this mean if you're shopping for a BYD today? In blunt terms, Blade 2.0 won't be waiting for you in the dealership, not yet. Every dolphin, seagull, or seal on sale abroad is still running the original blade pack. That's not a bad thing. It's proven, safe, and efficient. But if you were holding out for 1,000 kilowatt charging or 200 watt hours per kilogram density, 2025 won't deliver it. For buyers in China's premium segment, the story is different. The Han L and Tang L already whisper of Blade 2.0 inside, though BYD won't confirm it outright. If true, these drivers are experiencing the first glimpse of what the rest of the world might see a year or two later. For everyone else, the choice is patience. Do you grab a reliable blade-equipped EV now? Or wait for the gamble of next-gen packs? 
Given how little infrastructure exists for 1,000 kilowatt charging and how far off exports may be, buying now doesn't mean you're left behind. In fact, it could be the smarter move. But the promise of Blade 2.0 lingers, reshaping expectations. Because once these packs scale globally, the definition of fast and long range will never be the same again. The Charging Edge Range anxiety once defined the EV debate. Automakers fought to cram bigger batteries into heavier cars, chasing numbers that looked good on paper but solved little in practice. What if the real breakthrough wasn't range, but charging speed? This is where the short blade becomes a game changer. Early whispers suggest it can slash charging times down to levels once thought impossible, edging close to a full charge in the time it takes to grab a coffee. Not 10 hours, not even one, minutes. If true, this would make owning an EV feel no different from fueling a gas car, maybe even easier. And here's the twist. It doesn't demand exotic chemistry or fragile lab prototypes. It's lithium iron phosphate, proven safe, now pushed to shocking new limits by BYD's engineering. If the long blade makes range anxiety irrelevant, the short blade makes charging anxiety vanish. Together, they don't just compete with Tesla. They could bury the entire slow EV narrative once and for all. Geopolitical shockwaves. Every great shift in technology carries hidden consequences, and Blade Battery 2.0 is no exception. For decades, global energy politics revolved around oil, pipelines, sanctions, and wars over supply. But batteries are quietly becoming the new oil. Whoever controls them controls the future of transport, trade, and even military mobility. BYD's advantage lies in something deceptively simple, scale. China already dominates lithium refining and battery manufacturing. Now, with Blade 2.0, it holds the sharpest weapon in the EV race. If charging can be reduced to minutes, the barriers for mass adoption crumble, not in theory, but in practice. That means countries dependent on fossil fuel exports face an existential threat. Entire economies could be undercut as oil demand begins to slide faster than expected. Meanwhile, automakers outside China may find themselves forced to license or import BYD tech just to stay competitive. The shockwaves won't be loud at first, but they will be unstoppable. Energy power is shifting east, and Blade 2.0 might be the final push. The Blade Battery 2.0 isn't just BYD's next step. It's the spark that could rewrite the EV future. With safety, speed, and scale already proven, the only question is how quickly the world will follow. Tesla, Toyota, Volkswagen, they all have to respond, but can they keep up? The EV war has never been this intense, and BYD just raised the stakes. So, what do you think? Would you choose range or charging speed? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more hidden tech stories revealed.